Hello and good evening. It's uh, just already past 9 p.m. over here in Spain. And today's question comes from Diane. And I, yeah, she's from the USA. And she uh, answers or she says uh, on a topic, she says, any experiences with Alzheimer or Parkinson's? Now, as you know, photonic therapy is to be used post-diagnostically. So the objective is that you first go to your doctor and that he tells you exactly what's going on. Uh, but what I can tell you is, is that Dr. Barry McLaren has had uh, clients with Parkinson's and we've had quite some remarkable positive reactions with using photonic therapy. Now, apart from that, uh, hold on. Okay, sorry. Somebody coming in here and we are having a terrible storm. So I was wondering what was happening there with my door, but it's one of the, uh, one of the rescue dogs uh, deciding to finally come inside. The young one, of course, the old ones, they are lying here uh, secure in, uh, with a lot of heat uh, surrounding them. But um, what you need to know about Alzheimer is that uh, this disease typically destroys neurons, okay, and the connections. And what we know from science, meanwhile, is that the more you keep on studying, the more that you're keeping your brain active, the more connections are being made in your brain. The more connections you have in your brain, okay, the less quick they can destroy it all because there are a lot more connections. And, and I don't say that's why I'm, I'm studying every day or I'm learning every day something new. I'm not saying it's, it's for that reason, but it's certainly helping, okay? Uh, oh, hi, see Christine is present. Hi, Christine, good evening. And so it is important to stay active. It's important to keep your brain active. Okay, because that's step number one in staying healthy and staying well is to be active. Now, for the experience that Dr. Brian McLaren has had with uh, patients with, um, uh, not, not with Alzheimer, with the Parkinson, is that we saw he has in, in his booklets, in the human or the people information pack, Dr. Brian McLaren has a specific booklet for Parkinson, people uh, suffering from Parkinson. And what was discovered doing uh, photonic therapy, the McLaren methods for people with Parkinson, is that they did not heal. Let's be honest, they did not heal. But their symptoms were lowered. And one of the symptoms, for example, is a trembling, okay? Is a trembling with Parkinson. And that trembling went away, was lowered so people could be holding things again, okay? And what they saw is that just the symptoms, that the normal symptoms of Parkinson and the normal evolution was, how, how, how should I say that in English? It was delayed, okay? So in other words, they stayed better. They, first of all, they regained forces and strength and normal habits. And the progression of the disease was delayed. That's also why, meanwhile, in certain hospitals, they are using this system. Okay? So that's one thing. But I do want to uh, mention an, another example, and, and that's of a lady who is suffering from multiple sclerosis. And I remember when, after she started, I remember when she started with photonic therapy or how she was before starting with photonic therapy. And she was unsure with holding things and she was unsure on her legs. And she started using photonic therapy every two days. And in her case, not only doing it for four to six weeks because it was a chronic situation, she kept on doing it. And after two years, she went for an exam at her doctor's and her doctor said to her, oh, what's happened to you? And she was really surprised. She said, what do you mean? Uh, 
she immediately thought negative to say, oh my God, something is wrong. And the doctor told her, I don't recognize you. You are so much better than last year when I saw you. You are better than you were before. What have you done? How did you become so much better? What's the trick? What's the secret? Okay. So is this a miracle? No, it is not a miracle. It's simply the application of what we call traditional Chinese medicine uh, by using our photonic red light. Okay. By using our specific LED red light at a specific performance of 660 nanometers wavelength on specific acupuncture points. It's a combination of the two. Okay. On specific acupuncture points. That is replacing the use of needles or the use of uh, pressure of a, a, like an acupressure session is the replacement of that system to give a same effect, bringing balance back into the, in, into the body, bringing balance uh, between the yin and the yang. Okay. That's what it's doing. It's helping the body regain its forces. It's, I don't know how to say it at this time of night, uh, but that's what it's doing. So it's not a miracle. It's a technology. It's, it's a science uh, of combination, in this case, of the red light therapy, stimulating specific acupuncture points to bring balance back into that body. And, 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 and that's it. What for some may be such a big secret and such a, <gasps> whoa, that's not possible. How is this possible? This can't be. No, it's not that at all. It's um, a system that has been uh, used in, in China for thousands and thousands of years. But what for, uh, Dr. Brian McLaren did is making it easier for you by stimulating specific acupuncture points with an LED red light at 660 nanometers, instead of having to go every time to an acupuncturist who would put needles in or to an acupressurist who will put pressure on it. His system gave you the chance to do this yourself at home. And that's what he did mainly most of the time. He was busy with humans. It's only after the humans uh, that, that all the rest was developed. His, his manual for the humans was the first manual that he developed. Then came from the horses, then came from the dogs, then came, I, yeah, then came from the birds. Then it was either cattle or, or alpacas. I don't know <laughs> which one of the two came first, but that's how it all has been going on. And this is nothing new. This photonic therapy, the McLaren method using, or the McLaren method in photonic therapy is simply the combination of two existing therapies. On the one hand, red light therapy, but in this case, in combination with the stimulation of specific acupuncture points. Okay. So it has nothing to do with woo, 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 woo. Oh my God, this is something strange. I don't trust this. No, this has been, this has been going on for hundreds and thousands of years. Okay. Hundreds of years for the red light therapy, thousands of years for, um, Chinese, uh, traditional Chinese medicine. And in this case, acupuncture points, the stimulation of acupuncture points. It is nothing new. What Dr. McLaren did is making it available with a specific red light so that anybody at home could use it themselves with a safe tool. Not a tool that, ha that is emitting dangerous waves, dangerous uh, strengths of light for which you need to put on black goggles. Okay, but with a safe light that is still doing whatever it needs to do. In this case, mode one of our torches to stimulate specific acupuncture points to get the same result. Okay. There is no need today for you and your animals to suffer all that pain 
if you have this tool, you can deal with that. And to finish, uh, to answer the question of Diane, Alzheimer or uh, Parkinson, photonic therapy is not going to heal these people. Photonic therapy will help. Okay, or in this case, advanced photonic therapy, or you could call it the McLaren method in photonic therapy, but it's going to help. Okay, but it's not going to heal. Uh, in this case, those people should also watch out what they're eating. And uh, certainly for everybody of us who is a healthy person, they need to do what they need to do to make as many connections in their parts of the brain Okay, that has that's involved with memory. Uh, that's including the entorhinal uh, cortex and so on, and hippocampus and so on. Um, make sure that you keep on studying every day, just like I do. I am studying something new every single day. I'm making so many connections because I have seen myself from close by, from very very close by. I have seen young people, young persons. Uh, with Alzheimer and how they went down and how that ended. I don't wish that on anybody. And I will do whatever I need to do to make sure that my brain keeps on learning new things because my brain is already damaged. My brain has been damaged since I was, let me think, since I was 27 years old. At my 27 years old, I got into a motorcycle accident and my brain was damaged. I had a problem with my short memory brain and that's still, it's a lot better today, but uh, there are still some problems there. But uh, I keep on, on, on learning something new every single day. That's how I keep on going on. Okay, well, that's going to be it for today. This video has been a lot longer than expected. But as I said before, in the month of December, at least month of December, I will be going live every single day. So keep on sending me your questions and I will be happy to answer them. Okay, bye for now.